Hello, this is Andrew Darius. In this short video, I will show you how to deploy your Ethereum contract for your NFT collection, the one we create, prepared in the previous video on the Tesk network, Rinkerbal Tesk network. So first of all, uh, you will go to remixethereum.org and don't worry, I will give you this URL uh, under the video so you can just click on it and get here. And on Remix, Ethereum.org, you see this pretty much complicated interface. Uh, good news is you can ignore about 99% of this interface and just follow me. So it will be as easy as it gets. First things you do is to click on uh, New File and enter your name. Let's say, let's name it My NFT Collection. And that's it, right? Enter. That way you have this empty space to paste your contract we prepared before. So here it is. This is the contract we prepared in the previous video. So what I will do, I will just select everything and I will copy it. And then I will just paste it to this interface, paste. Then I will scroll to the top because you will need this number right there. So it is all you need to do on this screen. Then we click on the next icon just below this one. And here we need to set exactly the same number, which is 0 0.8.0. 0. So all I do is just select it and, and then click compile. It's pretty fast. Now that our contract is compiling and we are done. It's as easy as, as it gets. Now we click on the next icon on the left. And very important is to select this Injected Web 3. After we select it, it already is showing our Rinker by Test Network. If you don't have it selected or you have selected the main Ethereum network, it will show Ethereum and number one here. So make sure that here you have selected Ethereum, not Ethereum, but Rinker by Test Network. And I explained to you how to configure a Rinker Butters network and how to get this fake, fake if on the previous video. So if you don't know how to do it, you didn't watch the video, you need to watch these previous videos to be able to set this Rinker Byte test network, use it and have this fake if so we can work with this deployment. After that, we have this account right there. If it's your first time, you may need to confirm in your MetaMask is just a click, so it should be very easy. Then, and this is very, very important. Uh, many people make this mistake. They will just click deploy on this address, my NFT collection, which is not the way you should do it. You need to click on this drop down menu and then go to your contract. If you remember, we name our contract my NFT contract, which is on in my NFT collection file. That's it. And now we can deploy it. As you notice, we have this pop up here asking us for payment. And of course, it is fake network, so we don't care. You just confirm and you wait. And you can actually click again and see that they, there is now a contract deployment happening to the test network, and it is done, right? So we have contract deployed. So after you deploy the contract, you, you have this contract right there. There are many different options you, which you can use here, but sometimes not all of them work from this left side. They supposed all to work, but not always. So what I usually do to make sure that I can like play with the contract is to go to the ether scan for linker by a test network. So here we go. And then what I do is to click here to copy the contract address. This is the address of the contract you just deployed and put it right there, right? So I'm putting it right there. And as you see, we have the contract deployment as the only action of this contract right now. But what we want to do is to go to the contract and verify and publish. And actually, this is what you want to do for your real contract later on on Etherscan. This does not cost you anything and make people 
trust the contract more because they can verify your contract. So you select you select single file right there and complete the version. As you remember, we have 0 0.8.0 right there and open source was MIT license, right? And we continue right there. And now what we need to do is to go to our contract, select it, copy, and then just paste it right there. Paste, right? And then we need to prove that we are not a robot, and we are not, and verify and publish. So now this processing and checking if our source code is compatible and the same as a contract we deployed a moment ago. It takes a while, but after all is done, uh, then you go again to the contract, again copy here, and again pa paste the contract ID right there. But now uh, when you go to the contract, you have those, this write function, right? And you can see on this dodge, dodge, mind dodge, you have two parameters. Uh, you have a uh, payable amount and number of to tokens, right? And as you see, this is very tricky sometimes. Here, you don't have it. So it's supposed to be the same on the left side, but be very careful. It happens sometimes, it is not. Now, if you try to mint right there, it would not work. But first, let's connect. We are connecting to the Etherscan using our test network. We are connecting, and so we are connected to the Rinker by etherscan.io. And as you see, we are also with the network. So if I try to mint the Doge, it will not work, but we didn't start the sale. This contract by default is disabled for sales. So we need to change the sales state. We could do it either here because this button actually works, or we can go there to the contract. Let's do it from here, which is set say state. So if I click it right, it asks me to change the state. Of course, it's only work for the contract owner, which is the same Ethereum address as the one we deployed from. I'm approving it. So now when it is done, let's go and try it again. So let's go to mint doge. And actually the payable amount is here, right? So we need to put it actually here. And number of token one. So let's see if it's working right now. Looks like we are paying 0, 0.0 sign fake, fake ether right now. I confirm. And we are waiting again for transaction to confirm. And it takes a while, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter, but the end goal should be that it is done. Okay, so now we have done. And let's check if we have the Dodge or whatever name we gave to our token. I think it was my NFT token and see if we have it. To do it, uh, you need to, of course, add the token to your uh, MetaMask. So let's do it. Our contract address is right there. So I'm copying it again. So I'm going to MetaMask, going here, going import token and contract address. So I'm adding this addre address. Usually for the NFT token is zero decimals, so adding zero. And our token is my token, right? Because this is how we name it. And we adding custom token. And we already see that we have one uh, my token, which we just minted. So let's mint another one. And we see it right there. We are confirming confirm transaction. We are waiting for Ethereum to mint our NFT token. And after this, this transaction is processed, we should have the second my token in our wallet. Let's check it out. And it is, it is second token. So this is how it works. This is how you play with the contract on the test network. And only after you are successfully compiled, deployed and played with the contract and only after you're happy, you want to deploy to the main Ethereum network because it costs a lot of Ether to 
actually deploy on the mainnet. So here you have it. So let's now see if our token will show up on our testnet OpenSea. So I will reload the page. I'm waiting for OpenSea to reload the page. And you can see uh, our uh, two tokens are my NFT collection V3 because I did two before and OpenSea is adding with the V and the number if you have more of them. And both two are our, is our token. Of course, we didn't set the image for the token. This is why the image is showing, but OpenSea already is seeing our token. So the entire process worked. And now let me show you where you actually set the URL to your images or the base uh, URL to all images folder. So you essentially do it right there. All you need to do, so you set it uh, right here. It is called base URI. It is the URL to your uh, folder with all the images and the metadata. So for example, if your domain is domain name.com forward slash my NFT token images forward slash, you will put there right there and right. Let's say, uh, let's do Google right there. Of course, it will not be our real one, but I, I want to show you images. I actually write. It will ask me, uh, of course, to, to process it and only the owner of the contract, which we are, can do it. So I can confirm. And after this transaction process, I will show you that it is actually set. Or actually, it already did it. So let me go right there. So to check it, we just go to read contract. And read contract, you should have the same functionality right there. Or base URL. You click on this. And it's already showing that the base URL is google.com forward slash images. So this is how you set the link to the folder with your all your images and metadata for OpenSea to show your image. Thank you very much for listening and see you on the next video.